Researchers at the University of Rochester uh, have developed a very interesting concept cloaking, invisibility cloaking. Uh, but we've had attempts before in the past to be able to, to visually cloak something and they've been more or less not so successful. But perhaps the trick of, you know, all these pesky photons getting in the way of invisibility is not to look uh, through an invisibility cloak, but to look around it. Let's take a look at a video. Say we place an object, in our case a ruler, in the middle. If we didn't have the lenses, we would be able to see the ruler. But what the lenses do is the lenses actually cloak the ruler. So if you were standing right here and you look straight through, what would happen is the rays would focus and then diverge out. So it actually bends the light around the ruler so that you won't be able to see the ruler if you looked at it straight down. So we have slightly more complicated designs where an object can be cloaked entirely, but we've tried to simplify our design. And what we have is where the light goes through the center of the design, so that cannot be blocked. So the cloaking region is actually a ring-shaped area on the outside rather than the center. So um, we have this very interesting bottleneck phenomena where uh, we, it's, oh, it's hard for me to explain because I'm not Joseph Choi, uh, but you block, um, the lens passes the optical information uh, for the background through a very small visual bottleneck, a cone, and expand it on the viewer's end only. So blocking the very center distorts that, makes it not possible, but we do have this very wide periphery in which we are fooled. Yeah, it's the ultimate tool to hide all your donuts as long as you line them up and then only let people look from a very particular angle. It's a really neat theorem. Uh, that they have and that they've, that they've proved of being able to basically focus light like you would like a magnifying glass to, to burn ants or, I mean, don't do that, but, don't you know, that. don't do that. But you know, that sort of, everyone's familiar with that idea, that concept of being able to focus them even farther than that and trap all the light so that from that point of view, by the time they're all focused, if you're around it and next to it but still behind that lens, you can't be seen. So it, I know that he talked about uh, that they're able to do that on a much, to any scale, mm -hmm. any scale large enough that uh, that they can as long as you can make the lens that big then they sure. can make the field that big but how do you how is that I don't know how applicable that is until they work can well, figure out this that is still part. research I suppose you know I it's, it's very promising research <laughs> and this is the first uh, device that we're aware of that we um, that can do three-dimensional continuous multi-directional cloaking as opposed to you know let's camouflage it or you know or just let's protect it from radar like all of our like yeah, like stealth this bombers is more and stuff like, like that yeah bending the rays of light so that or you know because we, we see things by like looking at the light bouncing off of it uh, so let's 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 affect that, or let's affect the perception of that. Controlling nature. Mm, uh, yes. I don't, I don't know. You Fooling know. nature. Yeah. Using nature to your advantage. Using other parts of nature that. to obstruct nature. I should write that down. <laughs> uh, so this isn't quite a Klingon warship or Harry Potter's invisibility club, but it's very interesting, and it, it reacts in a way that you would probably not uh, think of right off the bat in terms of cloaking or obscuring. And of course, we could apply the research further in the future to perhaps more high scale things. It's very promising. Let us know what you think of all this below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.